Welcome back everyone, this is Kyle Ransom with Silicon Pizza Atlanta and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the framework the e-commerce framework so you can begin selling your products on your self-hosted WordPress e-commerce site. Okay, so there's one plugin that you'll need to do that to make that happen, it's called WooCommerce. I already have it installed so uh, let me show you how you can go get it though, what it looks like. So uh, on your WordPress dashboard, dashboard you'll go to plugins and, and click on add new and then uh, we'll search WooCommerce Okay, and then I have it installed, but this is the one you'll want to install is WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce has some other add-ons you can add to it, like uh, Stripe Payment Gateway, uh, which is an alternative to, say, PayPal. Um, it's totally up to you which one you want to use, but I recommend at least PayPal, and you can use Stripe to be able to take payments overseas, as well as uh, take Bitcoin payments as well, crypto payments. All right, so um, once you install that, you want to go ahead and start setting up WooCommerce so it, it will format the framework so you can start selling your products online. Now, um, you can use the uh, WordPress, uh, not WordPress, the WooCommerce uh, setup wizard to do that. Let me show you how it looks. It gives you, it, it says the basic uh, information. Um, so I have my business address right here. So uh, you go ahead and put that in there. And then go next. And you can choose to uh, take payments from Stripe or PayPal. Uh, you will need to set up an account with both of these third-party vendors in order to be able to set that up. Uh, and you input your email that you use to set up those accounts in here to to uh, format these payment gateways. Um, and then you also uh, put in how uh, how you're going to uh, measure the weight for your for your your weight and size for your packages, whether it be a uh, old English system or a metric system. And it also automate the taxes and uh, you can sync your email list uh, with uh, your users. With I highly recommend you build a user list. You'd be able to uh, send them promotions uh, from time to time when you have, when that comes up on your site to increase the sales of your products. Okay, and once you're done with that, you can continue uh, to um, set up your words, connect your WordPress site with Zip, Zippack, which is another plugin. It's kind of like an admin plugin where you can manage your website, your website uh, through Zippack. Zippack offers a lot of features like uh, monitoring your website traffic. Um, it helps to secure it. It has some uh, share features and also helps to speed up your your site as well. So, highly recommend using that plugin. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through that. But um, you can search uh, plugins to install that. It actually, usually comes with the uh, when you first install the site. Anyway, uh, in another video, I will go over some different plugins that you'll need to use consider to, to consider to use f to uh, make your website run better. Okay. All right. So once you have done that, uh, you're pretty much good to go. But um, I want to get in, dive deeper into the settings so you can go through that to know what each section is. So um, with the wizard already set up my my uh, address and uh, the basic uh, settings there. Um, click on the, the products tab um, and it will specify which page your products will be shown. I made a, a page entitled shop where all the products will be shown on there. Uh, you can actually add a, a placeholder uh, placeholder image if you like. Again, you already have you already did this in the setup wizard, so it has that the uh, weight unit and dimension unit uh, uh, formatted for you. Uh, this this is kind of like the long version. See, with that setup wizard, so the setup wizard already um, formatted the type of taxes we'll be doing. So you have that already set. Uh, shipping. This is where you choose to uh, implement your shipping cost or how much it will charge to ship. Uh, now, most people with e-commerce e e stores now are offering free shipping to get more business. So, now uh, it's, it's a judgment call, but you can choose between uh, free shipping, 
Um, you can determine what type of zone it is and you can charge for that. Um, you can determine whether it's flat rate, a flat rate fee, free shipment, or you can choose to have your people come pick it up, pick up the product directly uh, from your location if you choose to do so. Okay, and then um, the setup wizard already set already set this up, but you can go in the payment tab and you can choose other ways to accept payments, such as direct bank transfer, checks, cash on delivery, PayPal, PayPal checkout, Stripe. Um, you, you pay Stripe offers other some other types of payment forms, and this is more in line with. Uh, people overseas but you can also set that up as well it offers other options and more ways to take payments which is always good and then um you can set up the accounts where you can have customers choose this to set up an account with your site this is good to build a user list again you can use that list to start marketing to people who are already bought from you which is very powerful and as that grows you'll you'll ramp up your bottom line and your revenues from doing that so i highly recommend that you set that up and uh, emails, um, you can set email alerts as for how you want to be notified for every instance that happens on your site as you choose to see, as you see fit. And then you have the advanced tab, which which uh, would tell you how to direct your basically tell you how you direct your traffic after the person has made the sale. Um, and you can uh, format how you want to. Uh, by having even reroute them to another product or however you want to do it but this is where you would set that up okay so that's it for setting up the framework using WooCommerce to set up your self-hosted WordPress e-commerce site in the next video I will show you how you go ahead and add a product so you can start selling that product on your site in the meantime thanks for dropping by have a great day